from Michelin on Main, it's your Carolina with Jack and Kimberly. Well, good morning, Buckaroos and Buckarets. Uh, a gray day, a cloudy day. There's rain in that forecast. Uh, your Carolina, the name of the show. You know your name, of course, and uh, sitting in for Miss Kimberly today is uh, my oldest child, still a child, certainly. At, uh, how old are you now, Jack? Old enough to be old enough to be your kid. Yeah. Forty-one. <laughs> Jeff Roper sitting in for Miss Kimberly. How the heck are you? Good to see you. I'm good. Thanks for letting me live at the house. Did you make up your bed this morning? I was told to by, by <laughs> your wife, my mother. Your wife, yeah. my mother. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're glad you're here visiting from Texas. And uh, hey, listen, today is Prince's birthday. Wow. <laughs> now, when you say Prince, you may not, you may have to explain who that is. The entertainer. The guy. The, he's how old? Fifty-five. Fifty-five. The guy that sings. Purple Rain. Wasn't that See, him? See, that was big. You didn't think I knew that. Now, let's hear you sing like it. Mm -mm. He, uh, he is nope. the artist formerly known as Prince. Because well, he changed his it. name to like a hieroglyphic at one point. Well, that's his and problem. And then he changed I, back. I don't, I don't understand that part of it at all. Uh, Tom Jones. Uh, it's not unusual. What else? Delilah is how old do you think uh, Tom Jones is? He's probably in his 70s. 73 big ones. And if you don't know who Tom Jones is, that's the guy that sings this part in that song from the 80s, I think I better dance now. Is that in there? That's him. Well, that's he's probably the, his biggest he's hit. the artist that ladies throw their drawers at. Yeah, that's... That's tech. That's not nice. That, that is if they're wearing drawers. Uh, National Donut Day is today. Gosh, wouldn't that taste good? Some Krispy Kremes? Oh, yeah, I prefer those. A coffee and a Krispy Kreme. I haven't had a Krispy Kreme in about 12, 14 months now. That's good. That's, that's good. Well, they're not good for you, but I, I do love them. That's my choice. National VCR Day is today. VCR. <laughs> they say 85% of the people that ever owned a VCR never knew how to program it. Well, the, and now they're obsolete. Well, the, yeah, yours always was blinking 12 well, o'clock. You counted on you because you were smarter than the rest of the people in the house. You never could figure it out. See, that. he doesn't mean that. Well, it's true. Mom was running the show. He always set the clock in the She's car. She's always taping Young and the Restless with it. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Bold and the Bertiful. Well, listen here. We want to talk about... Uh, have I shown you my new teeth? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the reason I'm here is because you had new I teeth had new and teeth I, teeth I got to fill in for you, for you last week. But I, I have a surprise for you in, in case uh, those... And you may not recognize this photograph. But we, we throwback Thursday was have yesterday. I, but have but I approved this? I don't know. Negatory. Exactly. This is a surprise, and this is going to be on live national GSP TV. This, oh my God! This is this is one of our first appearances Jeez together. So, <laughs> Where did you get that thing from? <laughs> yeah, that's me and Pop. I didn't know I had hair that color. Cir circus. That's a wig, and it? it's like a Merv mm. Griffin wig or something. That, no, that's, uh, no, that's and that bow tie it. spins, baby. Battery operate, wasn't it? You know it? what? You were adopted, and we got you at the scratched and dented sale at the orphanage. Yeah, They're welcome to Tuesday to morning. Yeah, I'm available. Yeah. that That's uh, Dad and I with one of our first appearances together. Uh, and obviously, I couldn't say much then, but I can talk now. Only till 11 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> we're shutting this thing down. See my new teeth? Got those those brand are big. New, brand new. Those are big. Let me show you some new teeth on a watermelon. Let me show you a close-up. Is this art? This is art. Where do you get this stuff? This is art, folks. You take a watermelon, and you just shave down to the light green part, and make that the lips, and shave a little bit more, and make that the teeth, and what? then go in the red part, and make that the tongue and the goozle. That's art. What a smile. Look at those teeth. Those are horse teeth there, man. I guarantee it. Isn't that great? How cool is that? You can do that with a watermelon. I don't, I, would you want to eat that, though, or would you be, I mean... Well, you, well who's eating who, you know? <laughs> I mean, let's face it. Run for cover. The watermelon eating you, <laughs> or are you eating the watermelon? I do have a list of the states that have the worst teeth, the top five least teeth states. Have I seen your teeth lately? <laughs> hush, hush. Do you know the first state to come to mind with the least, the people with the least teeth? I'm the people with them. the least teeth? Yes, what I would think it would be some be nice. remote be location. Well, it ain't I remote. would think Mississippi or, or somewhere where there's not good dental care. Well, Alabama is number four, but number one is West Virginia. This is on the top. These are the top five states with people with the least teeth. West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, Louisiana, according to the list here. Well, you know, they suck crawdads down there. I mean, you don't really need to chew them. Got to suck the guts out of the shell. Well, yeah, it's like, you know, they just. Now, get don't this. Have to, have get to this. Chew at all. The top five tooth states, according to this, I don't have the source of this. Best teeth? 
well, most teeth in the mouth <laughs> would be Connecticut. Connecticut, Connecticut cutters have the most teeth. Uh, number two oh, is wow. Utah. I don't know. California, number three. Minnesota, number four. And U.S. Virgin Islands, number five. Do you know I don't have any wisdom teeth? Well, I didn't think you were very smart. See, I just tee them up. You were born I just tee them up. But yes, I, and I think that, they tell me if that doesn't make me further evolved. What's the point here? What do we, what do we? I have no wisdom teeth. So am I a little it's further? It's a genetic <laughs> flaw. It's a genetic flaw. You're kind of your mother's side of the family too, remember. I mean, you know. You're Does half, that mean you're, I'm a little further along in the human no, chain? No, you're, you're half your mother's side of the family. Okay. What was that question of the day, Jeff? You hey, we were talking about the, uh, the woman, the 84-year-old lady. By the way, I want to send a shout-out to her. Hey, baby. She won the lottery. Yes, she did. Nice. <laughs> she won the lottery. She's got $590 million and a bunch of grandchildren now. Okay? And a so, bunch of new friends. And a, bu and a bunch of cougarific friends. Hey, yeah. baby. She, <laughs> she, the debate is over whether or not she should share with the woman who let her jump in line at the convenience store. Some lady let her get in front of her. Yeah. She won 57 or 8 or 9 mil. The question is, and there's some consideration, should the woman get a little piece of that action? Well, you say what? That's the question. I'd give her a mill like that. Like, Just give her like that? Spending money, well, see, a million you, dollars. But if you start letting people know you give money, they'll start lining up. Well, uh, Patricia uh, Bathgate uh, said I'd give her a million, according to our, our emailers here, our Facebook account. Becky Riverbank said, you bet I would. I, I agree. Well, she uh, did the right thing. She said she was trying to keep, teach her child a lesson and be considerate of other people, and she let her in front. Update that for me because I forget how to do that. It's called Refresh. We Thank you. Do that Thank right you, there. son. Right I'm going to leave you in the will. Let's well, see. By the way, we got this thing on 27 font up here. so we can <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Blow it up. <laughs> yeah, just well, blow it up. Oh, okay. 48 uh, yeah, font. I, I would if I could find. Well, that's, that was another question. All right. <laughs> yeah, if someone were to let you in front of them in line playing the lottery and you won, would you share your winnings? Hit sure. the Facebook up now. Well, she's 85 years old. Well, yeah, she took the lump sum, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She doesn't go to lens crafters. She ain't about free stuff. We got free stuff. We're giving away stuff. You have to be here oh, to take get it. An hour. You have to come. To, I, we'll keep it up until 11 o'clock. There are some rules and regulations. Well, how do you win? Well, you can't win but every 60 days. That's the deal. And uh, I got new stuff. Two new passes to Dollywood. I have uh, you tickets. Ever been, you've been I've to been to Dollywood. Yeah, I've been splashed riding that stupid log thing uh, with you. And your brothers. Yeah, uh, I know. Dollywood, we got Six Flags tickets, Those we got cool. Hardee's they have biscuits. have a new ride at Six Flags called Sky Screamer. I oh, bet yeah. You, I bet your teeth would love that. Thank you. They get, <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Culver's Restaurant tickets. We've got, oh, uh, yeah, Bilo's here with uh, some Czech Colas. we got a box of those bad boys. We're going to be doing some other things How with Bilo. about the Abbeville Opera House? Two tickets to Abbeville Opera House. We've got, uh, oh, yeah, down in Woodruff, we've got uh, Mac... Mag Daddy's Southern Smoke Barbecue uh, gift card and a T-shirt. That looks delicious. It does. And what else? We got the blue, blue, two, the Blue Man Group uh, coffee cups and different things. We've got Fisher's Orchard peaches and the White Horse Flea Market. We've got uh, some food from those guys. They have a restaurant out there. That's Danny's, yeah. Yeah, and you got to just claim it and win it. And so uh, how do you on. win? You show up. You show up and look pitiful. And change the oil in the Buick. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Change the oil in your mother's car out right there, and I'll let you have it. Okay, you, that's we've how it got works. some folks at the front door, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's people here. They've lined up. Yeah. This is great. That's great. This well, again, great. our question, let's see if we can find a new one here. If someone let you in front of the line here, we've got to refresh. Can you refresh that thing? If someone let you in front of the front of the line and you won the lottery, would you share the cash, the moolah? Would you? Dad, can I borrow $10? How much would you share? What would you give them? Million? Is it $59 million? I thought she won like $600 million and is going to get $380 million in the lump sum in November. No. Not that I'm on the internet or nothing. Never. No, I think it's 59 million. We'll find out. Well, Somebody. we've got uh, beauticians coming on the show. We also Stylist. have some great music, too. We do. All right. Are you looking for a new style? We have an awesome deal for you. Our discount deal of the day is coming up next. That's right. And A Arrangement Floors, don't forget, they bring beautiful flowers in. Take a look. They're on the web, of course. They doze but never close on the web at aarrangementfloors.com. Go by and see them in their stores. They're in Greer, and they are in Spartanburg. Beautiful.